Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We have a very amazing young and talented woman in the studio with us. Not only is she a singer, she's a producer and a songwriter as well and an all-round multifaceted creative. The one and only Thames is right here. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you guys? We're good. good to have We're you. Good. Good. Thank, thank you, us. thank you. What's the past week been like for you? You put out your first single and I'm sure you did not expect the response that you got. I didn't, I didn't. I literally just thought it would just be like maybe like 20 people people like I literally didn't think that like so many people would like it and it's just inspiring me more to do like to bring out more music I have like a couple of stuff planned um, and also like because I produced it I also was a bit skeptical about criticism from like proper producers you know so you I didn't do not consider yourself a proper producer I, I call myself a baby producer um, because I'm, I feel like I'm still learning and this is not like me in my final form. I'm still, you know, go growing. So yeah, I'm, I'm a baby producer, um, but I'm, I'm about to become, you know, a full-time master. <laughs> <laughs> Let's actually even speak about your growth. Where mm. have you been? Where are you now? And where are you heading? Um, I've been underground, really. I've been working underground, just trying to, like, perfect my skills, perfect my music, which is why I'm taking a bit of time. Now I'm at the stage of releasing more music, just um, getting out there and, like, sharing my music with the world. Um, I'm going to be in the future. Um, I plan to um, continue to expand my brand, probably go outside the country, hopefully. Um, right. yeah, we, so. we, we end up saying that at the end of the day, you like, um, you, you were a female producer. We don't yeah. have a lot of female producers. Yeah. So, what are the expectations from you? And at what point did you decide that you wanted to be a producer? Um, you know, initially it was really hard um, when I first, you know, started trying to go on like, you know, digital beats and like, it was really hard for me to get someone to produce a beat for me for a, a, an affordable price. And it was, you know, people were just handing me out like, you know, the, the throwaway, the, yeah. Yeah, you know, and they didn't really understand my style. So I just thought, you know what, like, I just, I have no choice but to learn how to do this so that at least someone could, you know, along the way I could learn and I could grow. Yeah, so basically. Uh, what would you say is your style? You say people didn't understand your style. What is your style? Um, my, uh, I would call my music um, alternative soul with like a like a hint of R and B. You know what? Um, I think people just need to hear it. In fact, you know <laughs> but the thing I like about our Nigerian artists is when you ask them what's your sound? My sound is urban fusion, Afro pop, R and B souls. Like yo No, because yo, like, yeah, different... because I don't I don't think it's it's um it's the typical song type of song. This you, is it. Okay, yeah, so we can hear it in the background. Yeah. That's the song playing on the background. Yeah. Interesting. So you sang to this as well? Yes, I did. Oh, your voice is beautiful. Thank you. And how long did it take you to write the song? Uh, it took me like 30 minutes to write the song. Mm, it was just like, I woke up one morning and I was just feeling, I was just feeling spiritual and there's so much going on with me. So I just, I had a beat I had forgotten about. So I just put it on and I was just freestyling and literally it just came out, Mr. Rebel, Mr. Rebel, you know, and it just flowed and I just finished it up in like a day. Okay, let's hear a bit more of the song and then we'll come back to this interview. Listen in because this is a hit. That is a jam. It makes me so I'm not happy every time. To watch her. I think your voice is really rich, but I'm hearing a lot of, um, I, I'm hearing a lot of influences in your voice. Yeah. Who would you say are your greatest musical influences? Nigeria and on the international scene? Um, in Nigeria, I really look up to Asha. Asha? I was going to say yeah. that. <laughs> I could hear a lot of Asha in there. Yeah, I really, I, I always loved her. I listened to her since I was a child. Um, I like Adele. I listened to Adele, Frank Ocean, and um, Lauren Hill. 
Oh, Lauren Hill. That's yeah. One. Lovely combo. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Would you say that you channeled into production because you were passionate about production or you channeled in because you didn't want to have to rely on anyone to get your craft out there? Um, I would say it's a mix of, it's both really because I, I did need to start helping myself. Mm. But at the same time, I also felt like I had potential to be creative that wasn't, there was a potential that I wasn't tapping into. So I, I just thought it was a great avenue to just kind of be myself and like do anything and create anything, you know, just not restrict myself. If you could collaborate with one artist in the whole wide world right now, whose name will come off the top of your head? Drake. Oh, really, girl? I know, I know, but like, I, li I like Drake. I, I think like he Drake. does good music. He well. does do good music, but like, there's, there's a thing he does where he like fuses like different cultures and stuff. I would love to be part of that. Do people tell you that you got like a bit of a scissor vibe as well? Yes, actually, <laughs> yes. Scissor is actually also, I didn't mention that, but she's also one of the people that. I also listen to that I, I think I could relate with, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So after putting out Mr. Rebel, what would you say was the most exciting response that you got to the song? Um, the, just like people, like known people, you know, reposting my song and like telling me that they can't stop listening to it. You know, that was like the most exciting part and like, just the plays, the amount of plays that I've gotten mm. online is just insane. I literally didn't expect, like, there was zero expectation for this song. It was just supposed to be, you know, a song that I could just say, okay, I have a song at least. Do you understand? Like, All right. I mean, I'm actually going to look, listen to the song after yeah. the show. I'm sure I'll definitely look out for it. But what is, before we let you go quickly, what is Mr. Rebel about? Um, Mr. Rebel is about, it's, it's a twisted relationship with someone that challenges you, right, and almost breaks you down, but makes you stronger in the process. It's kind of like a love-hate type of relationship. It's, it's like you're my friend, but you, you challenge me and you try me you know, but I'm gonna accept you. And is it from personal experience? It is um, from experience, yes. It is, everything that I write is personal. It's something that I, has happened to me. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, <laughs> honestly, we do wish you all the best with your Thank career. Thank you. Before I let you go and before you share your social media handles, what do you want for yourself now? Now, I just want to, um, put out more music, expand my brand, you know, share more music with my fans, the people that, you know, relate to me, show them that there's some, someone out there that they can relate to. And also for women, I feel like I, right now, I'm trying to empower, like, young ladies. And most of the music I make is, is actually for them. Yeah, so um, basically that's my plan for today, for now, yeah. That's amazing. That's All right, thank amazing. you so much for joining <laughs> thank us. Thank you How so can people, much for having me. You know, find out more information about your music and follow you online. Um, my handle is Thames Baby, T E M S Baby, on Twitter and on Instagram. Um, follow me there, DM me, listen to my music. All the links to Mr. Rebel are on there, so you could click. My lyrics are also there. You could search for my lyrics if you need to. Um, yeah, basically, that's most of it. Amazing. Thank you very much for Thank joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.